Hi all, Dutch Reefer here, and welcome to this latest Focus Friday video. Today uh, we're going to talk about polyp expansion or polyp extension, just the way which you prefer. Let's call it extension. Since the last time I used expansion and I got some comments that it's not expansion, since they're not expanding but they're extending, which is uh, technically true, I think so. Okay. Fine with me. Here we go. Um, so yeah, last time uh, I uh, did a video on polyp extension, it was more about showing you uh, how the polyp extended and uh, how they do that on different corals. So of course, I will show you that again in this video. But this video will be focused a little more on the discussion if it's important if your polyps are extending, your corals polyps. Um, in my humble opinion, uh, it is important, but let's uh, dig a little bit into that and uh, tell you why it's important. So, essentially, a coral has uh, polyps, and uh, these polyps they extend in one way or another. So there are uh, uh, LPS corals, which usually tend to have uh, larger uh, polyps, so that way you can also see them extending way more uh, or at least it's a lot more visible usually so that's not the case for all corals so for example this goniopora right here uh, that's a, a case of extreme polyp extension since the actual coral is only about this big uh, but the polyps are sucking themselves full of water and extending for about I think 12 to 15 centimeters uh, same goes for this red goniopora, um, which is a little bit less enthusiastic, but still, I think, around 8 to 10 centimeters. Whereas uh, small polyp stony corals, SPS corals, tend to have uh, very small polyps, and these are extending way less far. As you can see for this milopora, for example, or for this stylophora, which still has very visible polyps that are extending, um, but they're not extending that far. On the other side of the spectrum, there are Montipora, uh, which also have very small polyps, but it's very hard to see these polyps. So I'm going to zoom in a bit, which is digital zoom, so it won't benefit the quality. Uh, but as you can see, or hopefully see on this Montipora, there are very small red polyps that are just extending a little bit enough for the coral to, to grow. It shows a little bit better, by the way, on this Montipora hirsuta, which has uh, bright green small polyps. So th while they are extending, they are not, uh, not very long, I think not even one millimeter long. Then there are, of course, other corals which are uh, all polyp, no uh, skeleton like for example zoanthus as you can see right here so the polyp is the entire col colony is the polyp uh, well and I, I could show you many many more different variants of uh, polyp expansion extension um, but I've already done it in a previous video so uh, let's keep it at this general overview of various corals and their extension. So the question was, uh, how important is it that your corals polyps are extending? Well, like I said, I think it's uh, quite important since corals uh, use their polyps to, um, uh, to survive or to feed. And uh, they feed on mainly on two different sources. Most corals feed on light. So photosynthesis is one of the things that makes a coral healthy and grow and the other one is that it uses its polyps to get food out of the water and that food could be a, um, a nutritious food like for example mysis or krill or any other powdery food that you might add or dismastic and uh, of course also the calcium and the uh, magnesium and all other kind of trace elements you add to the water uh, will also be consumed by the coral. So the more the polyps are extending, um, the more the coral is able to uh, to feed and to 
to nourish itself with uh, either light or food sources that come from the water. Well, in order to, uh, to get this uh, food, either from the water or from the light, uh, the coral has only one option, and that is to exp extend its, its polyps. So, um, in general, when you see a coral which is not extending its polyps, then that usually means it's not feeding. And what happens if it doesn't feed, then it will eventually die. So, corals that only have their polyps retracted all the time are almost sure to die. So keep that in mind. If you have a coral that's uh, uh, not looking very well, um, then it might not be very happy. So for example, I have a very good example for you. This uh, toadstool, leather, softy, uh, which has been the subject of my videos for quite some time, um, is a very, uh, it used to be very pretty, ex uh, the, the polyps were extending really nicely and now nowadays after fragging it for the first time it started acting up and now it only extends its polyps for about 30 to 40 percent of the time so it's still extending but not very enthusiastically on the other hand one of the frags that I've made from this uh, coral is um, extending quite well no, not perfect yet, because uh, other than the green polyps, there should be little white flowers at the end of each polyp. So as you can't really see those at this moment, it's not extended fully, but it's extending, so that's good. And the cleaner shrimp also has a nice... few in this video so it's huh. so the question is why is this corals why is this coral not extending its polyps and to be frank I don't have the answer to that at this time uh, but I will surely uh, keep an eye on this coral and eventually if it's uh, if it if it keeps behaving like this so only extending the polyps for less than 50% of the time then uh, I might even frag it further and uh, cut it off of its uh, base and just uh, try to uh, to uh, revitalize it that way and hopefully it gets some new energy to uh, no, start extending the polyps again. So that was a good example for me and I hope you, uh, you, you follow that example is um, if your corals polyps are not extending you should definitely uh, find out what's going on uh, because if it keeps doing that, eventually you are certain that it will uh, will perish, and that would be a shame, of course. Um, sometimes it might be tricky to uh, determine if a coral is healthy or not, um, and I've al always found that uh, using uh, polyp extension as a measure is a very good way of uh, finding out if corals are doing okay or if they're. Uh, um, slowly perishing and so yeah well ultimately the answer is uh, still the same yes it's very important that your uh, corals polyps are extending the further the better um, and um, yeah well the more uh, scarce the food source is in the water so that's also one other thing which is not applic always applicable so I was wondering should I mention it or not but uh, in very uh, uh, low nutrient systems, you might see better polyp expansion, extension, since the corals need to work harder to get the food. So they might even stretch out their polyps a little further uh, to gather all the available food from the water. And uh, in that way, the polyp extension could be quite extreme, uh, just because the coral is trying to uh, get its share as, uh, as well as possible. So uh, also keep that in mind. So I hope you uh, um, you liked the, the answer to this question. And I uh, hope, you, of course, you enjoyed the video and uh, the extension of the, of the polyps of these corals. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.